Right, it's Saturday afternoon and I have the pleasure of chatting to one of our most popular artists at the festival. It's Cara Dillon. How are you doing, Cara? I'm very well, thanks. Super. Thanks. And it's your third time at the festival, is that right? I think, you know, we might have been here a few other times in different forms. Okay. You know, I, I first did um, Cambridge whenever I was 18 with a band called Oiga. Oh, super. Um, so that's many, many years ago. So I love Cambridge and it's it's always... It's amazing to be asked back again. Cool. So, mm -hmm. And you know, it's our 50th anniversary. I know. Brilliant. What, what do you think it is about Cambridge and the folk music that keeps people coming back? I think, you know, Cambridge Festival is just one of those festivals. It's not too big and everybody's here for the music. Like everybody out there has got their seats pitched like and they are not moving and they are there <laughs> to listen. And you know, lots of festivals, you know, that happen. There's so many festivals now popping up, up and down the country. And you know, a lot of them are just there wandering about, sort of looking at stalls and all. But here, it's a definite music um, oriented festival. They are there to listen. And that, as an artist, that is amazing because you stand on that stage. And you know, for some of our songs, which are quite, you know, um, some of them are quite quiet, mm. you, you can just hear everything just mm. going, Phew, and that's breathtaking. Yeah. Mm. And um, you do sort of your music, lots of different setups. What's your lineup? later today we've got our big band tonight so we've got um a fellow on boring called tad Sargent, who's brilliant he plays bazooki as well and we've got an amazing piper from northern ireland from armagh an armagh piper called barry Kerr, <laughs> and we've got niall murphy from armagh as well he's an all ireland champion fiddle player <laughs> we have ed boyd from fluke and you know he plays with lunasa as well so he's like one of our so a bunch of all stars have yes we got. it's amazing and of course myself and sam and luke daniels on the box so um it's brilliant i'm looking forward to it great and you're going to do a live song for us uh, a little bit later as well yes we are yeah cool mm -hmm. okay and what song are you going to do for us Ian? we're going to do one in irish um yeah. called eerie suicide story mm -hmm. so um it's quite a lively song and um and we all love playing it so uh, we were having a little debate in the in the dressing room <laughs> about what we should do and they're all like let's do that one then we can play a chin so there we are great cool and we have a lot of uh, young and new musicians coming at the festival mm. what sort of helped you when you were growing up or is there any advice you got that you can give to them just to see as much music as you can because you know sometimes you find yourself wandering around and you you catch something completely that blows your mind and inspires you to keep doing what you're doing so if you're a young musician out there, just see and absorb as much of the music as you can when you're at a festival, because you never know. That could be the one thing that motivates you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Great. And your last record, A Thousand Hearts, mm -hmm. um, fantastic. I've been listening to it all week. What was the sort of the themes behind the record and the songs? Well, I think basically all the songs, one day we sat down and we realized that all the songs were about you know, different affairs of the heart. So there's um, unrequited love, lost love. There's a young girl begging her mother to buy her a man. There's, um, you know, there's a um, song about River Phoenix on there. And, you know, it's, it's just, there's a lot of yearning. And we just thought A Thousand Hearts would be a, a good title. It kind of sums it all up in a nutshell. Okay. In a heart. <laughs> <laughs> and will you be playing some of them a little bit later? Yeah, quite. Uh, the majority of the set will be the new stuff okay. because, um, you know, we've been very fortunate. We've had quite a lot of good um, uh, response um, mm. from the album. We've had quite a lot of good airplay. We were on the Radio 2 playlist for three weeks. Fantastic, so I yeah. think, you know, like th there's a few of the songs that people will be familiar with uh, yeah. already. So, yeah. yeah. And um, I'm a follower of yours on Twitter. Do you, sort, you? do you sort of like that engagement you get with, with the fans? I love, I love um, Twitter. And, um, you know, it's, it's because you become a wee, wee bit obsessed with it, you know, because you start... <laughs> kind of like um, religiously every morning you go through it and um, and one of the, the highlights of my Twitter experience so far was coming back from a gig one evening and getting a tweet from Ed Sheeran. Wow. So it was like um, he was saying love your new album and I've got all your songs on my me and home playlist yeah. and it was it blew my mind so um, thank God for Twitter for you might <laughs> never hear things like that otherwise so. That's true. I saw a tweet last night as well that you're expressing your love for the condiment mustard. Yeah. 
yes, yes. Yeah, sorry, <laughs> that was, uh, yes. Yesterday we had a very long day and we hadn't eaten anything properly all day and we went and had burgers. And I had nice. a very large glass of wine and I think it went to my head and I just tweeted I love mustard because I really do. <laughs> and I think it just makes a burger. There you go. You know. I mean, do you have enough mustard in your dressing room? At we the have no mustard at the moment. Because I can get yeah. it for you. I, I you? genuinely... You can cut the mustard. <laughs> hey! No, I genuinely used to work at a mustard factory and I wish no. that was a joke. I, seriously? Yeah. <laughs> I'll try and order some in for you. Okay. okay, well, if you can sort it, I would appreciate it. I will welcome as much mustard as anybody can carry to a dressing room. Super, okay, <laughs> cracking. Well, thank you for talking to us. Thank we you. can't wait to see you uh, play the live track and on the main stage a little bit later. Thank you, Cara Dillon. All right, thank you.